Hello guys and uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry for the delay in putting up this next part. Things have been quite busy here and uh, my schedule for next few months looks very hectic. But I'll still try to find some time and um, see what I can do and you know how quickly I can add more parts. But uh, that was the bad news. Um, the good news is the guy who originally invented this technique, his name is Wiro, uh, and his website is back up online uh, with all the tutorials, including the one I'm doing in real time. So you can see the HTML version on his website. I'm going to put his uh, web address here. Go check it out when you get a chance. Lots of good stuff under the tutorials section. And uh, he was quite happy to see I'm doing the real time version for his head modeling technique. So, you know, just trying to help the community out here. But let's move on um, for now. Uh, we need to add some more details for the nose. And to do that, I'm in the edge mode. Uh, let's start selecting some edges here holding down the control key and let's see I'm gonna go up here and let's get one more and I'm gonna stop at this point reason being we don't need to go all the way around and add these extra edges because if we stop here and end up having a you know uh, five or six sided polygon it's okay because uh, eventually we're gonna put some hair on the character and that's gonna hide uh, this multi-sided polygon for us so let's do that and this time what I want you to do is when you go to the connect uh, there is a small icon right next to the connect uh, if you click on that, it brings up this dialog box uh, for connect edges with a bunch of options. Uh, the advantage is, first of all, you can see in real time, uh, you know, the end result of this function. And second, it gives you more control, such as you can give it more segments if you like, you know. Uh, you can pinch the edges together or you can slide them. Uh, but for this, let's stick with the two segments and I'm gonna pinch these edges together a little bit and then also slide them towards the center uh, somewhere here once you're done just say okay so we now have some extra edges and all we need to do is go to our vertex mode select these vertices and start moving them one by one and make sure you are constraining them to the edges so we are gonna start giving it some shape for the nose and it's gonna be it's gonna take some time to do this but what I can do at this point is pause the video and then open up another file uh, which is you know in a better shape than this one instead of me spending all the time moving these vertices and uh, you know just wasting your time here so let me pause the video and I'll be right back okay so this is what you would want to have uh, this is the kind of shape you would want to have for these new edges we just added uh, I just want to show you and when when you're modeling just start moving those uh, vertices around to get something like this <laughs> all right uh, the next thing we need to do uh, is fix the the edge flow here a little bit you know th this edge come in here I want this to go all the way around and come over here so to do that what we can do is start selecting these edges here in the center control and 
click on all these guys and stop at this point so we should have about one two three four five six seven eight nine edges and you can confirm that by looking at this part under the selection rollout and once you're done let's go ahead and if we hit the connect button it remember it remembers the the setting from the last time and we don't want that so let's undo that and go back to the connect dialog <coughs> excuse me and I'm gonna change the segments to one and I'm gonna remove the pinch and the slide uh, values and then say OK. So we have this new edge here. Then we can go in our vertex mode and select this guy, control key, select this guy, right click and connect. So now we have this edge kind of flowing in this direction which is going to help us when we do some smoothing to the character. Now two problems when we did this. First we ended up having a, a triangle and a uh, five-sided polygon here. So again pretty easy to fix. Let's do insert vertex in the edge mode. Turn on the 3D snaps make sure it's snapping to the midpoints and insert a vertex here and then go back to the vertex mode connect this guy to this vertex and then let's let's move it uh, down a little bit something like that and over here we have a triangle okay now this one is a, a little tricky actually uh, because the triangle is by itself I mean there are no five-sided polygons with the triangle uh, so we cannot use the same technique as what we just did here uh, so in order to fix this what I'm gonna do is go to my edge mode and select these two edges here these two guys and connect them okay and then if I go back to my vertex mode um, by connecting these edges I now have two extra vertices so what I can do is select this vertex and this guy and connect it alright once I'm done I can go back to my edge mode select this edge in the middle and remove it now we have a quad 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 alright but one more problem this polygon here now has more than four sides what you can do is go back to the vertex mode connect these two vertices alright so now only there is one polygon which has a triangle but we can leave it as is because we're gonna add some details for the eyes and we're gonna extrude this polygon inside so it's not gonna be it's not gonna make any difference later on so there you go we we added some extra edges for the nose and we we fixed uh, the flow of the edge here and we have some more details to work with Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.